We are Catch the Fire. From our humble beginnings, we've become an international movement of people living in God's presence and leading others into encounters with God. Millions of people have walked through our doors over the last 25 years and found new life through Jesus. We never could have imagined what God would do through us. At Catch the Fire, helping people to encounter God's presence is at the heart of what we do. We started in 1988 when John and Carol Arnott felt God call them to plant a church in Toronto. By mid-1991, they were deeply involved in the practical aspects of running the little church by the airport, but they yearned for revival. They prayed for God's direction and felt Him say, if you're serious, I want you to do two things. Commit your mornings to prayer and interact with others who are anointed. So began their adventure in seeking and hosting the presence of God. John and Carol canceled their engagements and gave their mornings to the Lord. They worshiped, read the Bible, prayed, and spent time with Him for a year and a half. They invited many anointed guest speakers to our church to minister and to learn from them. On Thursday, January 20, 1994, Randy Clark was ministering when the Holy Spirit took over the meeting and fell on 120 people. No one had any idea it would look like this. People were laughing, rolling, crying, falling down and speaking in tongues as they encountered God. People were so touched that emotional trauma from childhood would lift off. Some people were so physically overcome by God's power, they couldn't walk and had to be carried out. Within days, the word spread that God was visiting us powerfully. Thousands flocked to the church, lining up outside by 3 p.m., waiting for the doors to open at 7 p.m. People came and it didn't matter if they were Pentecostal, Catholic, Methodist, Baptist, Charismatic, the Holy Spirit would touch them. Many pastors and Christian leaders, such as Heidi Baker and Bill Johnson, received prayer and carried the anointing to their own nations, ministries, and denominations. This anointing became known as the Toronto Blessing. However, an unconventional move of God of this nature did not come without its critics and naysayers. After seeking God's counsel, and receiving assurance, John and Carol pressed on, stewarding this outpouring of the Holy Spirit tirelessly for decades. Day after day for 12 years, curious and spiritual hungry people came from around the world. The Toronto Blessing gave birth to Partners in Harvest, a network with over 11,000 churches that we are a part of. Catch the Fire is now a worldwide ministry of churches, events, music, missions, and books, and we are expanding further still. We are committed to seeing the whole world encounter God's transforming presence. The incredible presence of God is still here and working every day in our midst. Hearts are healed, the lame walk, the blind receive sight, lives are transformed. This is a truly special place in the world. This is our legacy and your inheritance. We encourage you to dive in and immerse yourself in this incredible blessing. Encounter God's transforming presence and bring it to your workplace, family, city, and nation. This is our heritage and our future. Catch the fire.